Okay, good day everyone. I am back for Management Advisory Services, pero this is just the second part of the Standard Costing and Variance Analysis. Kasi last time, we discussed about Standard Costing and Variance Analysis on Direct Materials and Direct Labor. For this time naman, I will discuss Variance Analysis on Factory Overhead or Overhead Variances. Okay, so based on the illustration that I am presenting to you, okay, the overhead variances can be computed around 2, 4, 6, 8, 8 variances, okay? Pero yung pito niyan is just a um, sub variances from the main variance which is the total overhead variance. Yung pito kasi, um, it is computed, it is being computed in order to provide deeper meaning, deeper analysis, and evaluation as to the total overhead variance. Ibig sabihin po nun, in order for us to identify why there is a favorable and unfavorable variance as to the total overhead variance. So, we have the controllable and volume variance under two-way method, okay? So, the controllable variance is computed no, by getting the difference between the actual factory overhead, yeah, the actual factory overhead over the budgeted allowance based on standard R. So, that's why AFU minus BASH. And then, for the volume variance naman, um, simply by the use of the budgeted allowance at based on standard Rs minus um, the standard uh, the standard factory overhead. Well, on the three way naman we have the spending, the idle capacity, and the efficiency variance. Under the spending. Um, variance, we have the actual factory overhead versus the budgeted allowance based on actual Rs. And then the second variance that, that we can compute under the three-way uh, method is the idle capacity variance. We have um, differentiating the budgeted allowance based on actual Rs to the actual Rs at standard rate. And then lastly, on the three-way, we have the efficiency variance, which is the difference between the actual R's at standard rate and the standard R's at standard rate. This efficiency variance can be divided into two, which is the efficiency variance oh, at, um, variable and the efficiency variance fix. Okay, so what are the significance of each variances? Okay, so... For the total overhead variance is whether the actual overhead is above the standard or vice versa. That's the, the guideline rule. No? However, um, that um, decision guide um, cannot be able not to, um, hindi po natin yan masasagutan masyado if we focus on that particular um, variance only. Remember, the total overhead variance is composed of fixed and variable um, overhead. And there are factors affecting the um, the incurrence of that overhead variance. So that's why on controllable variance, its significance is you no, know, um, it consists the spending and efficiency variance. In certain books, once they compute the controllable variance, they just add the spending and efficiency variance to come up with the controllable variance. So, um, what does controllable variance can provide? Remember, from the word controllable, this may able for us to understand, no? Okay? Um, well, if our negotiated prices or cost, okay, or the negotiated cost by the management is very much favorable on, on the part of the management or not. Take note under the controllable variance, these are 
cost controlled by the management because it is subject for negotiation with the suppliers or providers of services. Okay, for volume variance naman, um, generally measures whether the entity was able to generate the amount of unit volume for which it had planned. So, it indicates the capacity or the cost of capacity available but not utilized. So, ibig sabihin nun, it can indicate no, the capacity of the company to produce. Okay, this can, this um, provides the number of units it's, it produced, but not all of its units were been, uh, were sold or utilized. So, that's why if there are if there are favorable and unfavorable variants, it will depend on that particular indication. On the spending naman, this measure how, manage, how managers of a particular department spend the budgeted cost allocated to them. Kaya nga spending because it is about how the manager of a particular department spend, okay? the overhead cost budgeted to them versus to the actual cost that they um, disbursed, okay, or used or utilized. Well, the idle efficiency variance naman, this refers to the amount of overhead that is either under or over absorbed because actual hours are either less or more. Okay, that is idle efficiency variance. Okay, remember the idle efficiency variance can be based on the labor hours or machine hours. Kasi based on actual hours, okay, no, that are um, either under or over absorbed. Okay, when then we have the efficiency naman, the efficiency indicates the means employed in the production. Ibig sabihin ng means employed is the labor hours and the machine or the machine hours, okay, provided on that particular production. Whether um, efficient ba ang mga um, pinangbabayaran nating mga manggagawa, okay, based on labor hours or machine hours. So, that are the significance of the different variances there. So, to illustrate how to compute no, the different variances of, of the of overhead, I prepare here a very, com um, not too comprehensive, but enough for you to understand how variances oh, are being computed, okay? So, a company produces a single product that has the following standard cost. Materials, um, 5 pieces daw sa bawat isang material at 4 pesos per piece, which um, total at 20, that is 5 pieces multiplied by 4 pesos, that is equals to 20 pesos. Labor, okay, 3 hours at 10 pesos per hour, so amounting to 30 pesos for each unit. The variable overhead, no, meron daw 3 hours at, and each hour, a variable overhead amounted to 15 pesos, so that. The every unit at its standard is 45 for variable overhead. And the fixed overhead is 3 hours at 5 pesos per hour. So the fixed overhead no, attached at standard is 15 pesos per unit. The total budgeted fixed overhead is 15,000. So that is the budgeted fixed overhead. So ibig sabihin, regardless of number of units produced, based on their budget, they are expecting only to incur 15,000, okay? Remember, the standard cost is different from the budgeted cost. This, for the budgeted production, pag sinabing budgeted, budgeted production, it is the normal capacity level of 1,000 units, okay? So, possible, the budgeted production of 1,000 is the normal capacity in this case. Unless otherwise, there is a qualifying statement in the problem saying, that the budgeted production there is not yet the normal capacity level, Require, requiring a total budgeted time of 3,000 hours. So, if your normal capacity or the budgeted production, which is considered the normal capacity of 1,000, so, ibig sabihin, you are expecting that you have 3 hours per unit at budget. Okay? So, 
which is equivalent to the standard hours that you have, no, sa taas, ito yon, itong mga 3 hours na ito, that is equivalent, okay? However, the total standard hours is not equivalent to the 3,000 because remember, the total standard hours will be based on the actual output produced by the um, company. So, during the period, the company produced 1,100 units and incurred the following cost. So, 1,100 units ang na, na produce, which is beyond the normal capacity level. The materials um, used no, in the production of the 1,100 units amounted to 5,600 pieces at 3.8 pesos per piece. So, that's the actual price of the materials. For the labor, we have 3,250 hours at 11 pesos per hour. So, that is the number of actual hours incurred for the production of 1,100 units for the labor. And then, the variable overhead amounted to 3,250 hours at 14 Point fifty per hour, okay. So same with the labor, because usually, no, the variable overhead or the overhead are dependent on the number of hours. Usually, labor hours or machine hours, okay. So fourteen point five per hour, ang sa variable overhead. The fixed overhead incurred, okay, actually incurred during the period in the production of 1,100 amounted to 16,000 pesos, which is beyond the budget that you prepared of 15,000. So, from this problem, we are required to compute the following, okay, um, requirements which focuses on the overhead variances. Una, the total factory overhead variance. Second, the controllable variance, the volume variance, the spending variance, the idle capacity variance, the efficiency variance, the variable efficiency variance, and the fixed efficiency variance. Okay? Um, take note lang po, ha? Um, how we I compute, no? Um, I think you have a different manner to compute that, but I will not... Um, um, uh, hindi ko kayo pipilitin to, to follow the way I compute kasi um, we have our own technique on how to compute. As long as we have the same result on the computation, it is acceptable. No? Um, yung importante naman po dito is that we can able to compute that in the same manner and then the computation are based on the concepts pa rin. Okay? So, for the total factory overhead to compute for that, una, we need to determine the uh, actual factory overhead and the standard hours at standard rate, which is, ito yung sinasabi kong shisser, no? This is shisser, okay? In, okay, so yun, no? Oh, the actual factory overhead, based on the problem na tingnan po natin sa taas ulit, Okay, nandun po yun sa taas. The to variable overhead actual was 47,125. So, we need to copy that because the, that is the actual factory overhead for variable that is 47,125. And then, okay, and then for the fix, according to the problem, we have 16,000. So, the total actual factory overhead is... 47,000 plus 16,000. So, that is the total actual factory overhead incurred in relation to the production of 1,100 units. And then, right now, we are now required to compute the standard R's at the standard rate. Take note, the standard R's is not yet given because the standard R's is dependent on the total actual number of units produced. Okay, however, the problem provided us that in every unit, how many R's based on standard? Nandito po yan sa first paragraph. Sabi that in every unit at standard, we are providing three R's, okay, per unit. So, from that, okay, we can now compute for the standard R's, okay, and then isa pa yung kailangan natin hanapin because it is based on the actual production, so, ibig sabihin, uh, in the case that the total production is 1,100, so we need to multiply 1,100 from 
three hours per unit to determine the okay the actual the standard hours for that period. So we have three thousand three hundred standard hours. Question: Pagkano ang standard variable cost? Well, based on the problem, ayon naman sa problem, no, the three hours at fifteen pesos per unit is the standard variable cost. So the fifteen pesos pertains to per hour na rate, and then we have a standard hours of three thousand three hundred. So we need to multiply three thousand three hundred times fifteen. That is forty nine thousand five hundred. So copy ayon po natin yan. And then we have, okay, for the standard fix, based on the problem, each fix, no, um, each unit will have a standard rate of 5 pesos per unit. So that is 3,300 multiplied by 5, so that is 16,500. So we copy the 16,500, the total standard fix, okay, at the standard rate. So the total standard R's at the standard rate, is, that is 66,000 um, pesos. Ngayon, let's determine, okay, what is the variance, the total overhead variance of, this, of the following, of the said problem. Okay, so we need to differentiate the actual factory overhead at its totality minus the standard hours at standard rate at its totality to come up with the total overhead variance. Take note, we have a negative amount of 2,875. So, what does it mean? So, in this case, no, the actual factory overhead is less than the standard rate or I mean the standard cost or the standard factory overhead. So, ibig sabihin, we, we, um, we standardize our overhead at 66,000. However, we um, actually incurred only at 63,125. So, ibig sabihin, this variance is favorable. Okay, that is a favorable variance. Okay, close ko muna. That is a favorable variance. So, that is F. Okay. No? So, hindi po ba yan unfavorable and negative naman? Take note, mas mababa po ang actual factory overheads kesa sa standard, sa standard factory overhead. Um, in this case, can we now um, provide um, indications? Well, we can say, we can provide an indication for this but not to the extent na um, masyadong detailed kasi Take note, the total overhead variance is composed of fixed and variable. Okay? So, pero pwede naman, if you want to um, illustrate, so pwede naman natin sabihin that the 2,875 is coming from the, um, the variable variance of overhead, which is 2,375, and the fixed, factory of negative 500. So, it means that nakasave po talaga tayo at variable at, at fix. Okay, there are situation naman that we, at totality, we have a favorable variance pero naging favorable siya um, kasi masyadong favorable sa variable overhead cost pero naging unfavorable sa fixed cost. Okay, so pwede po yung mangyari. In this case, naging favorable vote both both variable and fixed overhead. So, that's why we have a total overhead variance of 2,875. But, to give it a deeper meaning, let's proceed to the controllable variance. These are, var these are cost, no? Um, these are cost um, controlled by the organization because the management can able to negotiate the costs, okay, uh, uh, of these overheads, okay. So, the actual factory overhead, uh, let's copy the AFU as above, that's 47,125, and then the 16,000, so that's same figures pa rin naman, so that is... 47,125 plus 16,000, we have 63,125. Ngayon, we need to determine the budgeted hours based on standard um, 
no, this is budgeted allowance. This is not budgeted hours, ha? Budgeted allowance based on standard hours. Kung tanong natin ngayon, magkano po ba ang budgeted allowance natin on standard hours? Well, the problem provided there, no, that we have a budgeted fixed cost, okay? So, the budgeted fixed cost there is immediately the, budget added, the budgeted allowance based on standard hours, which is 15,000, okay? Ngayon, problema mo is on the budgeted allowance based on standard hours variable. So, bakit po ba the budgeted allowance based on standard hours no, is 15,000? Kinopya mo lang yung budgeted fix. Take note that the standard rate that we have na 3 was based on the budgeted um, number of units. Okay, number of units. Take note, number of units. Uh, which is 1,000. That's the normal capacity. And we have a budgeted total time of 3,000. So, the budgeted hours there is, so that is around 3 hours per unit. But then, the, the standard, no? The standard is 5 pesos per unit. So, that is uh, yeah, that's 5 pesos per unit. So, that is 3 hours. So, saan galing yung 3 hours again? That is 3,000. Oh, nandito, nandito po yan sa taas. Okay, take note ha. Ito yun. Kinopya ko lang yan agad kasi, oh. This, we are talking about here the budget ha. So, 3,000 divided by 1,000. So, that is the budgeted, um, that is the budgeted hours per unit. So, that is the budgeted hours per unit. Okay, so that would be 3,000 divided by 1,000, that is 3 hours. The budgeted hours per unit will be equivalent to the standard hours per unit. Okay, but it will be different at its totality. Okay, so 3 hours per unit. And then, because 3 hours per unit, no, multiply by 5, which is the budget, the standard rate okay, per hour, so that will become 15. Pero because this is referring to budget lang, budgeted production or the normal capacity, that is 5, mul uh, I mean that is 15, multiply by the by the 1,000, lalabas si 15,000. Kaya yun yun, kinopya ko lang agad. Okay? Sige. So we have um, 15,000 and then how about for the budgeted allowance based on standard hours? So, the budgeted allowance based on standard hours will be, um, take note, we have how many standard hours? We have 3,000, no? That's the standard hours. Okay? So, that is 3,000. Okay? Multiplied by how much, no? Okay, that would be um, we will multiply it by 15. That is 15 because that's the variable cost per unit. So, that is 49,500. So, if we're going to add it, no? so the budgeted allowance based on standard hours is 64,500. So, deduct 63,125 to 64,500. So, we come up with negative 1,375 controllable and take note the controllable variance is a composition of a variable and a fixed cost because take note the actual variable factory overhead is 47125 versus the budgeted allowance um, based on standard hours is 49500 that is negative 2375 and then we have here 16 minus 15 we have negative 1,000. In this case, the controllable variance here, a total of a favorable variance, pero naging favorable po tayo sa variable, ibig sabihin masyado po natin na control ang actual variable factory overhead compare to the fixed, um, fixed cost. Because, uh, at budget, we are expecting lang na 49,500 um, and then on the fix, we have 15,000. However, on the actual, the variable nakasave po tayo ng 2,375 
Pero sa fix, hindi. Ibig sabihin, so, um, masyadong mataas yung fix kumpara sa budget natin. Pero, as its totality, we have a favorable variance. But we need to investigate pa rin, no? Even though the total variance of controllable variance is very much favorable, we need still to investigate how come that we have an unfavorable fixed controllable variance. Okay? Paano po ba nangyaring? 15 lang naman budget natin sa fix. Kas, pero yung nagastos nyo is 16. Ano kaya ang anomalia meron dyan? So, that is a big question and it is subject also for investigation and evaluation. So, that is the purpose why we need to detail the total overhead variance because of that particular purpose. Okay? So, ayun. And then, we have the volume which is the um, BASH of 49,500. That is 49,500. And then we have 15,000 here. No? Copy pa rin yun. Kasi that is the BASH. So we have a total of 1,049 plus 15. And then we need just to copy the shister that we have computed in the Total overhead variance is 49,500 and then we have the, ito yon, which is, magkano, that is 16,500, okay, so that is 4, 5 plus 16, that is 66, okay, ibawas po natin yan, ayun, that is 1,500 favorable pa rin, okay, that is a favorable variance. So, question, Okay, that is the volume, no? Ibig sabihin, as to the variable, magkakapareho lang naman yan sila. Ah, so, that is deduction, hindi po pala plus. So, pag volume variance, wala po tayong usually na variable volume variance kasi yung source ng um, volume variance is the fixed cost only which is 15 minus 16,500. At standard, okay, we are expecting to um, incur 16,500 but as to budget we have 15,000 so mas marami yung mga mag, uh, magagastos at standard rate which is in this case that is very much favorable because we are expecting to incur only at 15,000 pero because of too much output that we have kaya tumaas at 16,500 so take note if we are going to add the two favor the two favorable variances that is 2875 which is also equivalent to the total overhead variance kasi hinati lang po natin yung 2875 into two variance which is the controllable and the volume variance Next, we have the spending variance. We begin with the AFU. So, kukunin lang po natin yung AFU ulit. That is 47,125. And then, we have 16,000. So, we have a total of 47,125 plus 16,000. Ngayon naman, okay, the budgeted allowance based on standard, based on actual hours. Well, regardless of how many activities that we have, that is still at 15,000. By the way, isa rin po yung purpose, no? The budgeted fixed cost, regardless of the number of activities, the budget will remain the same. That is our expectation. Kaya, kinokopya lang natin yung budgeted fixed cost, no? So, in this case, because variable is very dependent on the um, activity, take note, we have 3,250 hours actually incurred during that period multiply it by the standard, um, the budgeted rate of 15 pesos, which is equivalent to the standard rate. So, we have 48,750 and 15,000. So, we add it both. Uh, no? So, we have a 63,750. So, ibig sabihin, the spending variance, yung nagastos natin, meron po tayong favorable na Variance. So, it means that the management here, based on the budget, okay, that is given to them, no? 
they were able to save at 625. However, saan po galing yung savings? Okay, tingnan natin. We have 47,125 minus 48. So, galing po yan sa variable na 1,625. Pero, hindi pa rin nakapag-save sa fix. Okay, ano kaya ang nangyari? Bakit hindi nakapag-save sa fix? Okay, posibleng maraming ginastos. Okay, um, kasi based naman to sa oras, yung fix. Okay, so, there is a possibility that the, the fix, no, um, The fixed cost, okay, the fixed cost based on hours were kuan, no, at actual, maraming oras ang nasasayang, kaya maraming oras magtrabaho ang mga manggagawa, and then, or posible naman kasi mas marami ang nagawa, kasi expected lang naman at 1,000 units at its budget that production, but it exceeds the budgeted production, that's why, the fixed cost increases. Okay? Posibleng ganun rin, no? Okay? Um, even though we knew that the fixed cost is 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 um, not dependent to the um, not dependent to the activity, pero posibleng sabihin rin ng management yata, ah, tinaas na lang po namin yung pambayad sa kanila kasi mahal po yung singil. Oh, pwede naman ganun. Okay? Oh, no, as long as we can investigate on that particular unfavorable variance. Okay, for idle capacity, we have the BAA. So, ito yon for 8,750. And then, kopyahin din lang po natin si FIX na 15. So, that is amounting to 48,750. And, okay, that is 63,750. Ngayon, the actual R's, remember, we have actual R's of 3,250. Multiply its standard rate. The standard rate of the variable factory overhead is 15. So, ganun lang po yun. And then, for the For the fix, we have 5 pesos multiply at 3,250. So, ayan, no? Kunin yung additions. Okay, so that is, we have 6,350 versus 65. Okay, favorable pa rin. Saan kaya nanggagaling yung favorable na variance ng idle capacity? That is based on the fix. Okay, dahil zero naman si variable. And then si fix, okay, we have 1,200. Okay, if the actuals actual hours are computed at standard rate, so we can mas malaki po ang babayaran natin. Pero sa budgeted based on actual hours, mas makonte lang sa na ang babayaran natin. So that's why we have a favorable variance of one thousand two fifty. Okay. So, how about for the efficiency? The efficiency is ASAR versus CISER. So, we have 48,750. Kopyahin lang din. Kopyahin lang din si ASAR yung nasa taas. And then, ito rin. Okay? So, yung problema mo, si CISER, kung ano yung CISER mo sa total overhead variance, yun din yung CISER mo sa baba, sa efficiency. That is 49,500. And the CISER under fix for... For this case, it's sixteen thousand five hundred. So that would be a total of, ayon. So that's sixty-six. Kunin natin yung difference. That is one thousand. And then sa anggal, that is favorable as well. Okay. So the variable would be favorable also. So it means that. We have an efficient, okay, manggagawa here because we expect at standard higher than the actual. So, mas ma mas magaling gumawa. And then, on ito naman, okay, same then, no? Okay, we have negative 250. That is the purpose. Take note, guys. If the labor efficiency variance is favorable, The variable, the overhead efficiency variance will also favorable because if you're going to look the computation, this is also the computation for labor efficiency variance. Okay, so if we're going to add the three variances, the spending, the idle capacity, dapat it will result to to the total overhead variance, which is same. 
2875. Ayun, ito 'yon. Which is also ayun, parang hinati-hati natin yung 2875 into 3 dimension which is the spending, okay? And then the idle capacity and the efficiency. So, as to the variable efficiency, ito na yun, that is negative 750, which is a favorable variable efficiency variance, and sa fix, that is the fixed efficiency variance. Ibig sabihin, yung fixed and variable efficiency variance, hinahati lang po natin yung total efficiency variance. Okay? So, hopefully, naintindihan po yung mga variances related to um, overhead. So, that ends my discussion related to variances and I hope um, sa next time, we can able also to discuss naman the operating budget. Okay? That would be uh, my next topic for the um, for the next um, week. Okay? Thank you and keep safe everyone. God bless!